Hello everyone and welcome to another Mafia Godfathers video. In this video we're taking a look at the Enos Huntley S SUV on GTA 5. This is part of the Mafia Godfathers vehicle customizations playlist in which we're trying to take a look at each and every vehicle on GTA 5, customize it for you so that you can then use these videos to decide whether or not you want to purchase or customize these vehicles for yourself on your PlayStation or Xbox. So we are going to bring this car into Los Santos Customs in a moment, and again, the highlight of this video is the Enos Huntley Sport, or the Enos Huntley S, as they say on here. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. But anyway, before we do that, I just want to let you guys know that this customization is being done on GTA Story Mode rather than on GTA Online, just because it's too expensive to do them all on GTA Online. So just keep in mind while you're watching this video that all of the prices that you see in this Los Santos Customs will be much more expensive on GTA Online than they are here. So let's bring this in, we'll give it a customization, and then we'll bring it back out and give you or give it a test drive around Los Santos and I'll give you my personal review of the vehicle. <clears throat> so first we have to repair the vehicle here and then Another thing I want to mention to you is some of you may not have everything unlocked in Los Santos Customs, but if you notice something with a lock icon next to it, just scroll to that item and, it, and then below it, it should tell you how to unlock that item, whether you're in Story Mode or GTA Online Mode. Another thing I want to say before I start customizing things is that um, the armor and, or I'm sorry, <laughs> uh, we're going to put the highest amount of everything on this. So the armor, we're going to put 100% armor, highest brakes, everything. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, okay, so we will put the armor upgrade of 100% on here. And then the brakes, we can put street brakes, sports brakes, or race brakes on. So we'll put the race brakes on. Then for the engine, we have EMS upgrade level 1, 2, 3, or 4. So we'll put level 4 on, and you see that increases acceleration by about 15%. And then the exhaust, we have the stock exhaust, which looks like that. The chrome tip exhaust, the dual exit exhaust, dual titanium exhaust, or the big bore exhaust. So we'll go with the big bore exhaust. I think that looks pretty cool. And uh, now the hood, we can either have a stock hood, a vented hood, a double vented hood, which the vents are on the side there, carbon hood, or the carbon vented hood. <clears throat> so I'm going to go with the vented hood. And then another thing, one, one thing I want to mention about the horns and about the neon kits are that they're both very, very expensive on GTA Online, much more expensive than they are on GTA Story Mode. So if you want to put a horn on, you have three different categories to choose from, the standard, musical, and loop. And then for lights, we come down here, we have the headlights, we can put xenon lights on, which we will. And then for neon kits, we'll put a neon layout on, front, back, and sides. And then the neon color, we'll make it We'll make it a blue. And then <clears throat> for the plate, we have the same five options for license plate as we've had for as long as the game's been out. So we'll put the yellow and black on. And respray, we have two colors, primary and secondary. So we'll make the primary color a metallic light blue, is what I'm thinking. And actually, we're not going to do metallic because that's going to run into the other color. Uh, we'll go to classic and we're going to scroll all the way up to the blues here and let's see what looks good. This looks kind of nice. The Mariner blue. Let's see if there's anything better. don't think so. The Mariner blue looks like the winner or maybe the surf blue. They both look nice. We'll go with surf. And then we'll come back out here with secondary color. Let's see it's a black steel now. We can make it black or some other color as well. I'm not sure if anything but black is going to look good with this. So, a lot of them look like they collide too much, so we'll leave, we'll leave it with black. And next we have the roof. We can either have a stock roof or a roof rack. Roof rack is not that big. It's just a small little thing on top. If you can even tell it's there in the video, I'm not sure. But we'll uh, put that on there. Then suspension, we can have the stock suspension, lowered street, sport, or competition. You see how much competition lowers the suspension by a huge margin, so we'll put the competition on. 
and then the transmission we put street sport or race transmission on so we'll put the race on and you see that increases acceleration by about five percent and we have the turbo we'll put the turbo tuning on and that's going to increase acceleration the rest of the way so now acceleration is maximized now the wheels wheel type we'll get an suv for this one and we'll try to choose something that looks good with the huntley sport that actually looks kind of nice i'm not a big fan of that tire but it looks good on there <clears throat> so there's the Bipu. Uh, let's see. A few of these don't look bad. We'll go with the Benefactor though. And then for the wheel color we'll make it black. Stick with the theme of the rest of the car. And then tires, tire design, custom tires here. And we'll just add some lettering to the tires so it looks more like a racing SUV. Tire enhancements, you can put bulletproof tires on so you can't get your tires shot out. It's always a good idea. And then you put tire smoke on if you want to as well for when you peel out or burn rubber. Um, so now the last thing you can do to this is for the windows where you can put a tint on. And this is really going to make the car, at least it always does for me, whenever you put the limo tint on. And now the car looks awesome. So uh, there's limo tint. <coughs> And that's all you can do, the Enos, Enos Huntley S in Los Santos Customs. So what we'll do now is bring it outside. I'll give it a test drive around Los Santos, and I'll give you my personal review of the vehicle. So overall, the first thing I'm going to say about the Enos Huntley S is that it is by far the best SUV on the game when it comes to speed and acceleration. Um, as you can see already, it's very quick. And if you're going to be doing racing or anything with an SUV, this would be my first recommendation to you as a car for anybody. Um, I would I would definitely tell you to get the Enos Huntley S. It's much faster than any of the other SUVs on the game, well, at least in the SUV category, and I would recommend this to anybody. The only thing that uh, it lacks a little bit is that its turning radius isn't great, so you're going to have to slow down a little bit more than you would expect before you take a turn in this vehicle definitely doesn't have the turning radius of some of the other SUVs as you see it takes pretty wide turns and the faster you go the wider they are just as it would be with any vehicle but um, it seems like letting go of the gas start, it starts to help a little bit but um, it's hard to tell so um, but that's the only downfall for it is it's handling it's not perfect in handling but it's not bad either um, so for the experienced driver on this game this is definitely the perfect SUV for you if you're into racing or if you're into SUV racing, that is. And for beginners, you might have a little bit of trouble at first, but if you get used to driving the vehicle for a little while, you should be just fine. Um, but the vehicle on GTA Online is rather pricey. Uh, it came out with a high life update, if I remember correctly. And you see these cars a lot in online SUV races just because they are very quick as you can see here and as I take out cars and trees and everything else um, but I would highly recommend this car as an SUV choice if you are looking for an SUV to race with so that's my review for you guys and I hope this video helped you to make some decisions about the Enos Huntley S I'm not exactly sure what just happened there the game just glitched out but um, thanks for watching don't forget to check out the description below for links to all of our different web pages including Facebook Twitter and our very own t-shirt web page also, don't forget to give us a subscribe on YouTube, and um, <clears throat> also check out our other videos and our live streams on YouTube as well. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for more vehicle customizations, and stay tuned for more from Mafia Godfathers.